Good evening, guys. Yes, this fire has been growing pretty quickly. Uh, according to the Arizona State there, it's now at 700 acres. And you can really see how big these plumes are behind me and why it's important for people in the Belmont area to listen to that set status. So make sure that you do have a go bag ready. Make sure it's got water, important documents and prescriptions, and that you've got everyone ready. Now, conditions in the high country have been pretty dry over the past days as it has been drying and heating up. I do want to give you a look at the plumes behind me that is really causing the concern when it comes to these evacuations. Now, we did have a, a tanker come in that is dropping retardant, it looks like, and we do have also a helicopter that is coming in and dropping water. We do have crews on the ground, a couple of hand crews and hotshot crews as well. And also when it comes to those evacuations, the Veterans Cemetery at Camp Navajo is also closed. So there's a lot going on here as well as smoke in the area. The smoke is also coming into the Flagstaff area. We were driving back up from Payson earlier today. You could see this fire from about 25 miles south of town and that smoke is coming in this Belmont area as well as Flagstaff. So people should people should really keep that in mind if they're in the area or out tonight. And again, just be prepared. You can always stay up to date as we continue to track this fire as it grows at azfamily.com. Mason, thank you for the live look uh, just west of Flagstaff, the Bravo fire. And let's get a look at that fire forecast with Royal. Wow. Yeah, and we're looking at the fire from our camera, which is at Northern Arizona University off to the west, as Mason mentioned, just south of the Belmont area in the Camp Navajo vicinity. And uh, this thing really has picked up. One of the reasons is this area has a lot of ponderosa pine, but a lot of grassland area where this fire can spread quickly. And anytime we see a plume like this, we do get concerned because the fire uh, is in a stage where it's beginning to build and to grow. Now the winds haven't been too bad so far this evening, though they're starting to pick up out of the southwest at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Here's the smoke plume off of the area where the fire is uh, to the uh, south of Belmont. Kind of zooming in on the area. We don't have an exact map yet, but that's the vicinity where we have this wildfire burning. And to add to this, we have a little bit of light shower activity in the vicinity as well probably won't be a plus or a minus in terms of the fire itself, but if we get a little bit of gust front out of that showery activity, uh, that could uh, play uh, some problems for the firefighters.